Hi, welcome to EDIS 7010 Courseware Tools. This is just a little bit of an introduction to get you started. I know many of you have already found the collab site and have started on the assignments and others are still trying to get in. So just wanted to uh, provide a little bit of a video to get uh, started. So if you go to collab.itc.virginia.edu, you can see that up, up here on the top of my screen, then you'll get this screen. Um, and from there, you want to go over here to the UVA login. You can press this. And I'm already logged in. I've been working on the collab site, so it just goes straight through. But uh, for those of you who have the NetBadge system, it'll take you to a screen to basically go in and log in using your UVA email and password. Um, the next part is you'll see my workspace, and you'll have something, a uh, home site that looks a little bit like this. I've got a ton of sites because I've been here for a while and uh, all the class sites show up as tabs across the top of the screen. So I'm going to click on ours, which is 15F, stands for 2015 fall, and EDIS 7010. Um, so it just got a little spruced up in case you were wondering what happened. Uh, we all have a, a common template uh, for all of the online uh, Curry uh, courses, and so that just got put in by our graphic designer here. Um, so you can see here, there's some news and notes. Um, there's uh, here some general information about the course. And basically this is hopefully, um, this course aims to help you develop technological, pedagogical content knowledge. And that's really what the first week's reading is all about. And that is being able to um, know what technologies are out there and be able to use them efficiently and effectively in instructional settings. And so that doesn't mean that you just give people iPads and assume that they're going to learn from them. It means that um, you want to take a look at what exact types of opportunities or activities do you want to engage people in and then what would you like for them to ultimately learn and meet the matching up technologies to those learning objectives and making sure that uh, the students can actually access those uh, technologies. And so through the course, we um, develop your technological knowledge by picking two technologies that you will actually learn how to use. And then after that, you will be looking at other people's um, projects by building a course website and looking at some universal design for learning, uh, as well as looking at some strategies for how to choose and apply technologies in instructional settings, and then finally doing a final course project. And that final course project will be up to you. You send in a proposal to me, and then the last bit of the, pro the, last bit of the course is all about you working on that final project. So just a little bit of a tour through the collab site. You can see here the syllabus, um, and things might look a little bit different since I'm in the instructor setting. Um, you have the, the full syllabus here. Um, one big part, I think lynda.com, I think you get that free, and I need to check into that. Um, lynda.com is a great resource. It has a whole bunch of instructional tutorials for various technologies. And any other sort of course text and materials will all be provided under the uh, activities or the resources tab. And this is a graduate course, so only B- and above grades actually will count. Um, I'm assuming everybody will do very well in this course. Um, and then here's the, the detailed syllabus that you can download. So that's this syllabus. The activities tab is really where you want to uh, check in and make sure that you understand where everything is. So this will give you a overview of what the readings are, if there is a reading for that week, where to go and uh, discuss, post things in the forum, um, and the activities assignments that you can hit here, and everything will be linked for that specific week. Um, and then each week, what will reveal itself are detailed instructions for what you need to do. Um, and you can look through here, and here's a watch the intro video, which this is, and uh, post yourself, uh, post an introduction to yourself on the forums page. You can click here to go to the forum, read the article, post to the discussion forum, and complete the resource collection assignment. So that's for week one. 
And if we go back to the activities, oops, sorry, I'll actually, it opens up in another window, then that is sort of the detailed explanation for week one. So here's sort of a snapshot, and then each week you can click for more detailed information and also send that out in an email. So here's a site email, and I have permitted you guys to, to send to the class, so you can feel free to use this to send any questions. Um, the gradebook is where you can find your grades for the assignments. Any announcements uh, will be here, and I'll also email them out to you. The assignments here is where you can go through and look and submit your assignments. Um, you can also submit them in the Dropbox. Just let me know where you're going to put them. Actually, you don't need to even let me know. I'll, I'll find them. Um, the forums is another great place. If you look here, then he there are a lot of wonderful wonderful posts. So here you can post your information. If you want to uh, click on to see what are what exactly am I supposed to do, you can see the full description. And if you go through here, you can post your information here. And a lot of people have already done so. And look, I've posted, Ian's posted, Jordan's posted, everybody's posting some information just so that we can get to know each other. Um, and then if we go back to the forums, you can see here is the week one discussion, and we'll be adding the week two, week three, as we actually have discussions. Not all weeks will have discussions. Um, and if you have any questions, you can post them here so that other people can find them. Um, so the resources tab, all the assignments, the there's this curry template files. I don't know if... Uh, um, you'll be able to see this or not, but this is basically for the class homepage. And then the readings here. Um, and then the syllabus you can find in the resources as well. Uh, so for if you ever want to send anonymous feedback and tell me uh, what you are like or if you have any questions or if you have any problems, please feel free to, to put anonymous feedback here. Um, and the Dropbox is where you can drop assignments off. And for the Blackboard Collaborate, so we are going to try to have some office hours where we'll be available in re real time, be able to see everybody face to face um, if you have questions over the assignments. Um, and definitely at the end for your final projects, we want to get people together uh, to be able to see each other and see each other's finals work because that's um, really exciting. So that's where you'll go to uh, take part in the face-to-face -face, uh, sort of synchronous uh, uh, parts of the course, and that's much like a Skype or a Gchat section. Um, so that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Uh, my email is jlchiu at virginia.edu. It's also here. It's on the syllabus. Um, or jlc4dz at virginia.edu. It goes all the same place. And uh, I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Email is actually the best for me. Um, because I can respond during other meetings uh, <laughs> with my phone. Uh, and uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and otherwise, that's it. I hope we have a fantastic semester. I'm so looking forward to this, uh, to learning uh, all about you and helping facilitate uh, your learning of technologies and how to choose technologies for specific instructional settings. Uh, thanks again, and once again, never hesitate to contact me. Thanks!